medical purposes. I'm going to talk about this some more later. Highly advanced medical nanobots will perform detailed brain scans on live patients. Accurate computer simulation of the entire human brain will exist due to these hyper-accurate brain scans. Nanobots capable of entering the blood stream to feed cells and extract waste will exist by the end of this decade, 2020. They will make the normal mode of human food consumption obsolete. And I think the more exciting is that by the late, by the end of this decade, medical nanobots, infinitely more durable, intelligent and capable, when I say nanobots, these are robots at the nanoscale that can be injected into the bloodstream. By the late 2020s, nanotech-based manufacturing will be in widespread use. And uh, there is the so-called Turing test. The computer people are very familiar with this, meaning that this is a test to find out whether a computer is indeed capable of human intelligence or artificial intelligence. <clears throat> and the projection of uh, Ray Kurzweil is that by the end of uh, the next decade, 2029, there will be a very strong artificial intelligence that can already approximate human intelligence. But of course, uh, it may be equivalent to a very stupid human, but still very intelligent. <clears throat> by 2025, the most likely year for the debut of advanced nanotechnology Military UAVs, unmanned uh, aerial vehicles, and land vehicles will be 100% computer controlled. And by 2030, mind uploading becomes possible. What is mind uploading? We know what is uploading when you upload a picture to a, a video to YouTube, when you up upload pictures to Facebook. Here, Ray Korsbal is talking of uploading everything that is in your brain. All the memories, all the pictures, all the experiences that you have can be uploaded into a computer because by that time, there will be a computer big enough already, but it's going to be a very dangerous upload because your wife might have access to that upload and find out everything about your recent past. Not so bad about your distant past, but very dangerous about what you did last week or a month ago. Very dangerous, this Ray Kurzweil is thinking of many dangerous things. By 2045, the singularity, when a $1,000 can buy a computer a billion times more powerful than every human combined. And that is 35 years from now. Can you imagine a computer that is a billion times more powerful than all the human brains? six billion, maybe seven billion human brains by that time combined. This means that average and even low-end computers are vastly smarter <clears throat> than even highly intelligent and enhanced humans. And here, Ray Kurzweil, in his book, The Singularity, as Leah was mentioning, that you could, by that time, already take up a low course by going to a computer center and having that information downloaded download this and download it into your brain so that in a matter of a few minutes, maybe a matter of a few hours, you become a doctor of laws, a doctor of economics, instead of going to a law school. That is possible according to Ray Korsberg. That is what you call the technological singularity when artificial intelligence will surpass the intelligence of human beings. 35 years within the lifetime of some of the people in this room uh, right now. This is what you call the very exciting uh, future, the brave new world. The singularity may be an extremely disruptive, world-altering, I call it a life-changing event that will forever change the course of human history, the same way that computers have changed the course of human history. Cell phones, very crude, compared to what is in store in the future, have changed the course of human history. Cell phones have resulted in the ouster of uh, at least uh, two governors in the United States, the governor of New York and the governor of, uh, I think, South Carolina, and another governor because of misuse of texting to the wrong persons. 
I think that has happened here also. The extermination of humanity by violent machines is unlikely, although not impossible, because sharp distinction between man and machine will no longer exist thanks to the existence of cybernetically enhanced humans and uploaded humans, enhanced, computer enhanced, and uploaded humans. And that is the reason why we have to prepare for the future and that is the reason why I am proposing and advocating the creation of the Department of Information and Communications Technology. Thank you very much. Wow. We'd all like to thank Congressman Gullis for a very, very informative presentation. Very interesting. And I believe we have time for at least a couple of questions.